the Asian League Summer Super 8 from the East Asian Games Dome in Macau. Blackwater Elite going up against the Guangzhou Long Lions. Both of these teams 1-0 right now. They enjoyed opening, days, uh, opening day wins. Long Lions getting past the rising Zephyr Fukuoka while the Blackwater Elite defeating the ET Land Elephants. Check that. It was the Soul Samson Thunders that they defeated yesterday. So it's the Philippines going up against China in this battle. We also have teams from Korea, Japan, and Chinese Taipei playing in the Summer Super 8. Judd Sunit and Sedel Tupas on deck to serve you on this Wednesday evening. Thanks for joining us wherever you are in the world. And we're Broadcasting live in so many countries, and um, it's just exciting the reach that the Summer Super 8 has. Thank you, Jot, and we'd like to welcome you to our continuing coverage here at the Macau East Asian Games Dome. Surely an explosive encounter here. Both teams looking to enter the semifinal round. Both teams really imposing a lot of physicality against their opponents in their opening day wins. Guangzhou beating the rising Zephyr Fukuoka with by five. And Blackwater Elite very impressive in their first day win, 678 to 67 over the Seoul Samsung Thunders. And for those who are wondering and are not yet familiar with the format of the Summer Super 8, they'll walk us through it. Well, you know, four teams per bracket. Uh, top two teams at the end of a, a single round elimination reach the next round, the, knock, the knockout stage, the last four. It happens on Saturday. So, you know, Blackwater with already with a win and uh, Guangzhou also with a victory. So just one more win and uh, you can punch your ticket to the next round. The championship round is on Sunday. Shadow John Mokhtar missing from the three-point range. He was 0 for 13 yesterday from beyond the arc. But, you know, he know that he's gonna keep shooting because you can tell that it's his role in the team. Well, definitely. You know, I caught up with him at the elevator at the hotel and he was like, he was fine with shooting 0 for 13. And I'm sure he's gonna shoot a lot more here. And uh, you gotta watch out if you're Blackwater, if he gets hot. Could what be a very streaky shooter. We're seeing right now for Coach Orenga of the Long Lions. Made some adjustments with his starting lineup. Decided to put in Sheng Chen. Man in the middle and also Tian Yu Heng to knock down that three ball. Starting after coming off the bench yesterday. Well, Zhu Ming Shin, it not in the starting lineup right now. Was the best player yesterday for the Guangzhou Long Lions. So Long Lions giving uh, Blackwater a different look here. Tian, out of Makar. They want Gokai, a mismatch against Pinto. And Ko just powers himself in. Well, Gokai, an energy guy. He can put points on the board really quickly, working the interior there. John Pinto helpless that time. Well, we're seeing the height advantage being enjoyed here by the Long Lions. What's going to be key for the Blackwater Elite to counter that? Well, they need to amp up their intensity defensively, force the, the, the Long Lions to turn overs, really. I don't think uh, the Long Lions have uh, the best of uh, backcourts here in this tournament. Malik C tried to put it back, couldn't get it on the tip but had a third attempt, and that's where he got fouled. Two free throws now for a lane Malik C off Blackwater. And really, a test of discipline, really, for, for Blackwater in terms of their execution. The rising separate Fukuoka, you know, we saw a glimpse that 
Long Lions, you know, if you continue to execute and stay disciplined and stay patient with your execution, you can break them down. And the Rising Sever Fukuoka fell short, but they sure put in a lot of fight even with their eight-man roster. Five to two right now in favor of the Long Lions. Alain Maliksi putting them up on the board. Tip in from uh, Alain Maliksi, not getting it to go, but he drew the foul. Now with Guangzhou, spotting Cheng Zhen, fouled by Eran. Oh, JP bought the pump fake. And he had to give up the foul to prevent the easy two points. A great move there by Zheng Zhen. Well executed play as he dives into this ba the basket. Boy Aram rushing to recover. Seven footer, really effective yesterday. Not just with his inside uh, scoring, but also his passing. He was spotting the open men and uh, down the stretch for the Long Lions. The best thing about this big man of the Long Lions is that he runs the floor. He gives his team opportunities to feed him on the break. Opens up a Narnia of opportunities for the Guangzhou Long Lions. They're up right now, 72. Blackwater has yet to settle into this ball game. Offense still out of sync. Almost a turnover there. And I'm getting past the goal. Now it's Pinto. Gets the defender on the pump fake and knocks down the chain. But John Pinto. Very smart, using that pump fake to shake off the defender, draws closer, one dribble pull up, book it. Horns play being run by Guangzhou. To get it out to Makar. Cheryl John gets away from the defense, plays it in with the left. Mokhtar bringing the action to the teeth of the defense. Great footwork, sidestepping his way to that left-handed layup for two points. Jan picks up a foul. Trying to guard Pinto. That's going to be a second personal. Well, Nard Pinto is one of the stronger guards you'll see in the Philippine Basketball Association. And he really gives problems to opposing defenders when they're guarding him. But it's see. Short on his turnaround. That's one matchup they can really exploit Blackwater. Maliksi on Mokhtar. Here come the Long Lions from outside. They take it. That's the main three-pointer from Kuyang Kwan. Now you see the difference with the both teams and the way they play. Blackwater going for the more uh, isolation type of basketball, but Guangzhou moving the ball around and hitting the open man, particularly from beyond the arc. Guangzhou Long Lions rushing out to an eight point lead here. But about six minutes, less than six minutes remaining in the first period. Every starter has scored for them. That's how it has panned out so far. A balanced attack for the Chinese. Philippine team Blackwater trying to produce points. The Gregorio missing. Oh, gets the lay in. Cross calls on Hera, and Blackwater unhappy with that call. And, and that's big if you're Blackwater 
Hoy Adam, their best this big man, picking up a second foul with five minutes and 24 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. And Guangzhou erecting this 10 point lead. Great move there from Go to protect the ball and finish with the left hand. Earlier, he knocked down a three-pointer that forced Coach Bong Ramos of Blackwater to call a timeout. Now he gets a three-point play, extending their advantage to 11 points. And like you said, most importantly, it drew the second foul on Eram, who had a big, big game yesterday. Had 20 points and 16 rebounds. Well, the thing yesterday is that no, there was really nobody in that Samsung Thunder team that can really match up with Boy Eram in terms of his physicality, in terms of his size. But now with Guangzhou, they have players here who can make it difficult for Boy Eram. They have the seven-footer Zheng Zun and Go Kai who uh, can handle Boy Eram. In the previous sequence, Blackwater doing a decent job pressuring, but at the last moment, there was a breakdown. They left Chen Chen open. Di Gregorio will attack towards the middle. Atomalik C will take this three pointer. It's good. Big shot there by Atomalik C. The, the offense of Blackwater, they're now making a conscious effort to move the ball around and find the open man. That time, Alexei burying the three. Dian misses. Brand new opportunity for Blackwater. Alain gets fouled by Cheng. Very smart, very clever, Alain Alexei. He knew that Cheng was going to be tempted to put his hand up. So what Alexei did was there initiate the contact and he'll go to the line for a couple of foul shots. Maliksi also part of the Philippine national team, Gilas Filipinas. Has played in the FIBA World Cup qualifiers. Coach Bong Ramos of Blackwater Elite has also coached in other countries in the region. Spent some time in Indonesia and was even tasked to coach the national team. Well, he got the call early this year, Coach Juan Ramos has take a look at that Chan Yu Han scoring and extended, extending this lead to eight. Pinto using that screen from Javier. Crossover from Pinto. Jose, the extra pass to Gregorio gets fouled. A go Kai there. Closing out on Mike De Gregorio. Coming off the last time out of Blackwater, they're showing better ball movement and that's why they're getting opportunities like that for uh, deception for the defense of Wang Shou. Well, Raymar uh, Jose passed into the corner, but it was a dangerous pass because Guangzhou, with the way things are going, they were almost telegraphed that pass. The defense of uh, Guangzhou now making, now forced to move because of the ball movement of uh, Blackwater and uh, the, the elite seem to be finding their stride right now. Di Gregorio misses the first one. Got two more coming, makes good with the second. Effectively trimming the deficit down to seven. Pinto has had a decent start here. Four points for him. And Di Gregorio gets the second. Roy Suma will check in for Pinto. Well, Roy Suma, backup point guard for Blackwater Elite, played solid yesterday. Was creating and, and scoring for his teammates, but Guangzhou now with Zhu Ming Xin in the lineup. Zhu Ming Xin was their best performance yes, performer yesterday. Three second violations. Our referee is warning the bench of Blackwater, particularly coach, assistant coach Aris Nimonahan. And coach Aris says, no, it wasn't me shouting, it was the fans. And we do have uh, a good sized crowd here, including uh, a Filipino gallery behind the Blackwater bench. But you know, I've 
come to realize after yesterday, we've seen supporters for every team, and some of them probably just in Macau, happens to be in Macau for the tournament, but I know some of them even flew in just to be able to catch the action of the Asia League Summer Super 8. Javier getting the long J to fall in. And that time, great ball movement off an assist. The, the, the past few offensive sequences for Blackwater coming off assists, coming off good ball movement. They're asking questions of the Long Lions defense right now. Cheng, the jumper is good for the big man, the seven footer with some range, always a scary sight. Well, Chris Javier could do little there as uh, Zheng was able to set up for that shot. Back to six point lead for the Long Lions. Suma trying to escape, ran out of space. Great defense there for the Long Lions. Well, that's a problem there for, for Blackwater. They go back, just when it looked like they were you know, getting into the flow, getting into the groove, they go back to that one-on-one -on -one play, and then it leads to the turnover. Wang Yue replacing Cheng Chun. Ball with Wang. They're swinging it, get it to Chi. Long Lions with four seconds on their shot clock. Zhu Ming Shin misses. Damar getting the board. A great rotation there defensively for Blackwater. It ends up in the hands of Zhu Ming Shin. Not really the most reliable of three point shooters for the Long Lions. So um, Blackwater gaining possession. Damar, the step back three pointer. Couldn't get it to go. Go with the rebound. Zhu sending it to Heng. Zhu challenged by Javier. Good defense there, but Wang Yue not to be denied on the putback. Wang Yue not able to, Raymar Jose not able to, to box out properly. Wang Yue gets the putback to go. Damar now to Malik Si. A minute and 15 remaining in the first quarter. Malik Si gets away. He now has nine points. Lane Maliksi, very aggressive early on, hasn't taken a breather just yet. He has nine points, and has put Blackwater to within six. However, from outside, Heng missing. Zamar getting the rebound, releases it to Maliksi. Blackwater trying to go quickly. Now, however, it's Suma getting away, but the shot was short. Chu, he loves getting out in transition and draws the foul on Maliksi. Chu, doing a great job there, forcing the issue. Maliksi attempted to commit the foul, but I do think that he could have done better there. And Chu already trapped with Javier there. Nonetheless, Chu Ming Shen will go to the line for those free throws. Chu Ming Shen. Had a stellar performance yesterday, 24 points, 10 rebounds. And when they were getting a scare from the rising Zephyr Fukuoka, it was Chu who brought a vibe to his team, also serving as the captain of the Long Lions. Here he is again, losing the basketball. Running start for Blackwater, Palma to the cup. is rejected by Hengi Feng. Palma just entered the ball game and immediately makes an impact. It's another foul. There was body contact as he was able to get to the ball, yes. But again, if you look, if you focus your attention somewhere lower, you'll see that there was a lot of contact between their bodies. Yeah, definitely, and that's Palma. Not a lot of size here for Blackwater in terms of their backcourt. But what they lack in size, I think they have to compensate for speed here. 24-19 after those free throws. Now it's Blackwater. Turning up the pressure, they're throwing on defense. Eight second violation, successful scheme for the elite. Well, we were saying that Blackwater doesn't have the size, but they do have the speed and the legs to uh, you know, exert some pressure on the backcourt, and that's 
Blackwater getting rewarded. 20.6 seconds remaining on the shot clock. There's a, it could be a technical foul, no, just a warning there. Looks like a delay of game warning being called in the Long Lions. Sumang. Blackwater will likely use the clock here and try and take the last shot of the first period. Sumang. Making his move now. Roy to the cup. Scoring at the buzzer. Roy Sumang, an isolation expert. Getting the bucket and bringing the Blackwater lead within three points at the end of the first quarter. Lions had a good start in this ball game, but eventually negated by the Blackwater elite who made a late first quarter run to get themselves within three. Well, Blackwater's second unit stepping up late in that first quarter. Roy Sumang, the guy holding on to the ball, was instrumental in uh, helping Blackwater get into the flow of their offense. Bello getting away. He lines in a cup. Blackwater's offense starting to come alive here. Wang Yue, bit on the fake. Mac Bello using the power of that shot fake to get away from the defense. Blackwater, however, too physical in trying to deny the big men of the Long Lions. Palma picking up the foul there. 14 seconds on the shot clock of the Long Lions. They're up by one. Cheng takes the shot, missing this time. But he does have that range. He showed it earlier. No, definitely. He can't leave the guy open. Backwater got uh, fortunate there. Bello providing the pick. Suma wants to make the most of his speed advantage. Bello. Hanging, trying to leave it for Balma, but it was deflected by the Long Lions. The Elite have 2.9 seconds left on their shot clock. A yeah, great job there by the Long Lions in um, forcing Abello into that uh, difficult shot. Balma and Chu Ming Shin getting caught up there. Guangzhou. Taking a three-pointer knockdown by Yao Tianti. 
getting into the flow of their offense early. The Long Lions, Yao Kanti. Roy Suma has been giving a hard time. Belo. And Chu Ming Shin. Oh, they're getting at each other right now. Well, Zhu Ming Shin, you know, very physical player, and he takes offense with, you know, he has his own antics. We've seen that yesterday in the game against uh, Fukuoka. And he's very, picks up a foul here. And he's very emotional. And he, you know, the problem with him, if you know, if he gets, if it gets into his head, you know, you know he, he commits a few turnovers or use the spouse so Blackwater it could be a ploy to take uh, zooming Shin out of his game Tamar now to Javier taking it from outside that's a miss we're gonna watch that matchup between Pelo and Chu for the rest of this game pretty much almost another three-pointer there for uh, Yao Heng trying to look for Zheng Zhu was open momentarily, but it get it. Sumang rushing out to their side of the floor. Roy Sumang kicking it out to Zamar, had space. No good. Paul Zamar wide open that time. Roy Sumang doing a great job there. And Sumang will enjoy a pristine pass to the hoop. No one from the Guangzhou Long Lines getting back on D. Full uh, cool credit there to Renz Palma in uh, you know, recovering defensively and, and fighting for that loose ball, getting the steal, and eventually finding Roy Suma. And a bunch of steals being taken by Blackwater now. Zamar missing the layup though. Here's Chu, will attack. He always loves using that hop step, getting into the bucket. Bello and Ju getting reminders now from our officials. They've been going at it since earlier. As Zamar apologizes to Palma with his, for his miss earlier. Well, four point swing there. Ju scoring on the other end. And uh, Paul Samar missing the layup. He's been struggling so far. Paul Samar missed a couple of triples already. Mark Bello being replaced now by. Remar Jose. Just a four point game, and this could be a battle that stays this close the rest of the way. Zuman bothered by Tian Yu Heng. Did a little too much, got called to the personal. Third personal foul for Tian, getting some reminders from the veteran, Sherlajan Mukhtar. Roy Suma, when he replaced John Pinto, I think he's made a big difference here for uh, Blackwater. On both ends of the floor, he's been uh, you know, the catalyst defensively. And that uh, pressure defense that they're employing. There's a reminder here for Yan Yu Heng. The question now is that's the second time. They already got a warning earlier for delay of game for standing too close to the inbounder. I'm not sure why this is not a technical foul. Nonetheless, action resumes soon on the inbound to Zamar. Javier providing the pick. They're moving that basketball around. Blackwater. Suma over the defense of Kokai. Uh, Roy Suma continues his stellar performance here in the second period. I gotta like the, the fight being shown here. Suma, smallest guy on the floor. Rajo looking for options. They got their eyes in Zheng Jin. Now it's cool. Not get the jumper. Blackwater, another opportunity. Sumang will stop for three. Will not get it. Luckily for them, though, that rebound was not handled by Shi Jun. 
Sumang was able to uh, push the basketball, but you know, that three pointer, I think, could have made a better decision there in uh, you know, setting up the offense once again. Blackwater almost there after trading by 11 earlier. Six seconds on their shot clock. Javier gets it up to Damar. Damar throws that ball up, missing Gokai with another rebound there, his fourth in this game. 0 for 4, Paul Zamar. Huge part of their offense, particularly with the second unit, goes through Paul Zamar. Tar. Shot clock down to four. Oh, he spots the open Shang underneath. I mean, if you're that tall, all you have to do is put that baby home. Zheng has been waiting for that basketball to come early in the shot clock, but Bokhtar uh, able to find it. And moving it around, Jose, far away from his range. Raymar Jose, though, shies away from the layup, spots up here, comes up short. Well, but that was an open shot. Gear has to make that. A miss, Gokai offensive rebound. Second try for him. You know, just the size. Of Guangzhou. Underlined by that shot from Gokai. It's going to be difficult here for Blackwater if uh, Guangzhou continues to impose their will inside the paint. from the Asian League Summer Super 8 to bring to you. Zheng Zhen leading the way right now for the Guangzhou Long Lions. They're up 33 to 27 against Elaine Maliksi and the Blackwater Elite. 501 remaining in the first half. Shout out to Zhen Maktar. Also giving some contributions, assisting and orchestrating very well. John Sulit and Sedel Tupas on deck to serve you on this Wednesday evening. Boy Adam back in the ball game now. JP Adam of Blackwater and also Alain Maleksi. Starting five for uh, Blackwater, except for John Pinto on the floor now. Roy Suma still uh, the main playmaker. McTar trying to get away. Out to Ju. Unsuccessful on the three attempt. Blackwater trying to go quickly. It's Jose getting it off the glass. A great commitment there by Raymar Jose to get his shot off against Zheng Zhen. You know, although Zheng Zhen has the height advantage, Jose showing us the power, his upper body strength that time. Zheng missing there in the tap of Gokai, lands in the hands of JP Eram. Here's De Gregori using that pick from Era. Era putting the ball on the floor. Ran out of options, had to send it out to Jose. Raymar Jose from the perimeter that time. JP Aram was wise enough to kick that ball out with two players defending him in the post. Raymar Jose. Scoring four straight points here to put Black, Blackwater to within two. Referee stopped the play. 
in order for that substitution to happen. But it wasn't a dead ball. It wasn't even after. It was a, after a big shot, yes, but it wasn't a dead ball. Matar shoots, still missing the mark this entire tournament from downtown. His team is trying to make up for it. Hang, getting the board. Like you said, the size advantage of the Chinese being maximized here, but the speed of Roy Suma playing the passing lanes. Suma pulling back. The switch initially had advantage, and Suma gave up a foul to stop Goye Joa from running away. Well, Roy Suma, extended minutes for him, but you gotta like the spark that he's given off the bench for the elite. Back comes uh, John Pinto. As you take a look at that replay right there. Gave up the foul there. Problem for Sumang is it was ruled an unsportsmanlike foul. Because Gu Yezhua was already on his way to, to a fast break attack all by himself. And he collects two free throws. Possession will stay with the Guangzhou Long Lions. More player shuffles as Zhu Ming Shin checks back into the game. No Zheng Zhen for the long lines on the floor, so we'll see what JP Aram can produce for the Blackwater Elite. Now this is a more, it's a better matchup now for Blackwater in terms of size. JP Aram, I think, can uh, go toe to toe with Gokai. Sure. Tries to get defenders, gets it to fall. Zooming Shin, very patient with his approach here. Waited and waited until JP Aram with the help of the fans, but body contact there with Raymar Jose. That to say, whistle for the foul and Zooming Shin completes a three point play. Drew with six points now in this game, and he extended once again the advantage of his team to seven. Foul, however, called on Ju. It's going to be a second personal foul. Well, Drew Ming Shin. Immediately after score, commits the foul on Malik Sik. Blackwater down seven. They have the ball with 2.38 remaining in the second period. Guangzhou Long Lions threatening to break this game open. They're now up by seven points after Blackwater lead. Was able to trim it down to two points earlier behind the lead. Malik sees first of suffering, but gets on hold now. Two for six from the field. Blackwater on offense. They get the inbound to Jose. Vito comes out to get it back. Vito. With this attack, stops, gets the space, gets the offensive rebound as well. Traveling, however, called on Di Gregorio. Mike Di Gregorio moved his pivot foot for dribbling there. 38 31 in favor of the Guangzhou Long Lions. 2 and 20 remaining in the first half. Maktar to Ku. 
Long Lions always very patient when it comes to setting up their half-court offense. The steal taken by Blackwater, Di Gregorio all the way, the lead is good. Well, quick hands there by Poya Era. John Pinto recognizing the run of uh, Di Gregorio. McCart trying to set up goal against Malik C, but Malik C too sticky, using his hip there. There you'll see him extending his left foot. That's where the foul was called. Well, something going on here between um, Raymar Jose and Wang Wei. Well, this game has been very physical, that we can say. Ju needing help, sends it out to Maktar. Finally, a three-point win for Sherilijan Maktar in this tournament after he went 0 for 13 yesterday against the Rising Zephyr. And started the game 0 for 3. And a sigh of relief for Maktar. More than anything, that he's been able to you know, bury his first shot from beyond the arc. I can tell you, he, he's just gonna keep on shooting and taking those. The card again. Thought about it to the cutting, shooting shit. And that's because of the threat now of Mokhtar. He buried that shot, and now Blackwater aware of the threat. And uh, Jumun Shit goes back door that time. And Mokhtar wise enough to find it. But now drawing the foul. Ju asking for a travel, but no. The referee throws it a foul on Gu Zheng Yang Shua. But now that the free throw line will take a pair of freebies. Yesterday scored three points in limited action. Just eight minutes for him against the Seoul Samson Thunders. Two free throws for Adel Banan. Guangzhou still ahead by nine points. But now at the free throw line, trying to trim it to eight. 50 seconds remaining the second quarter in. It has been here in this period that the long lines were able to pull away. Well, you know, Roy Suma you know, was rested. And I think the Blackwater struggling to find their offense once again. Well, one guy who hasn't had a lot of production for them yet is JP Eram. Again, scored 20 points yesterday, but has been very limited here. Jose missing. Gets the offensive board, gets defenders up, gets the put back. Neymar said, just not giving up on the play there. Gokai was there. Then done well there, Neymar said to get the two points. Makar. Zhu Ming Shin shying away from the shot initially, eventually taking it and making the three. Nine point lead for the Guangzhou Long Lions as we head into halftime. And Chu just left open. He knew what to do with that basketball. There you see it. Adams close out. Tad bit too late. Chu mentioned 11 points continuing this brilliant performance here in the Summer Super 8.
Entering the second half here inside the East Asian Games Dome in Macau for the Asian League Summer Super Game. Zhu Ming Shin, the top performer right now for the Guangzhou Long Lions. For the Philippines, the Blackwater Elite, it's Alain Maliksi top scoring, but after dropping nine points earlier in the, the first half, he went cold. Well, Alain Maliksi not getting the touches that he uh, wants to get to be effective in that second period. I think Roy Suman was the top performer in that first half. He had six points, uh, one assist, but a couple of turnovers. Uh, you know, just a, a blot on his stat line, but I think he dictated the pace very well for uh, Blackwater both on both ends of the floor. Adam will test the defense of Cheng. Kick out was taken away by Mukhtar. Go Kai. Ball tapped very well by Palma. Here's Di Gregorio trying to get away from the defense. Almost getting that back shot. It was well defended though. Well, that's Mike Di Gregorio's shot right there. 
leaving behind the defense. Tari continues to front rim his three. He got one earlier, but shooting a very poor percentage in the tournament. Nine point lead for the Long Lions. Ball loose, taken by Palma. Season opening, short on his attempt. And Go gets another rebound. Yesterday, Go Kai grabbed a handful of boards, had 14 rebounds to go along with his 11 points. Now this is a problem right now for Blackwater. Their offense not going anywhere. And as for the Long Lions, Wu Yejua getting the long two there. The Long Lions picking up from where they left off in that first half. Blackwater still searching for answers here. Palma gets that looper. Oh, that's something that they can explore here, the Blackwater Elite. Driving and kicking, perhaps. Because, you know, when they go down to the post, you know, it, it slows them down and, and really takes them out of their rhythm. JP Aram struggling uh, against uh, Zheng Zhen and Go Kai. And, you know, they, when they do get the ball in the, inside the paint, it's still a, a difficult shot. It's still a challenge shot for Blackwater, so the percentage is very low. They take it from outside. Yao missing completely. Gu trying to save the basketball, but it was already out of bounds. Fresh possession for the Blackwater elite. Palma looking to attack. Not like you could have gone all the way there. They're drawing Cheng Jun far from the paint with Eram out there. Pinto looking to operate. Nard getting away. Not getting the shot though. Jose, offensive rebound and put back. Well, John Pinto missed that shot, but you gotta like his persistence. And that persistence paid off with the form of Raymar Jose's offensive rebound as we see a foul on the other end. It looks like Cheng Jun got the green light to take shots here in this game. He's taken much more than he had yesterday uh, against the Rising Zephyr for Kuoka. But now, Coach Orenga telling him, hey, you got to recognize also when it's time to pass out and reset our offense. But he makes the first free throw. And yes, that's absolutely right, Judd, because he was a very effective passer yesterday against uh, Rising Zephyr Fukuoka. Made some critical passes, got teammates in their rhythm when they were when he was able to spot them. Pinto with 7 and 10 remaining in the third quarter. Pinto sending it to Jose. They get Eram. That's good from J.B. Eram from outside. Whenever Blackwater converts on a bucket, they deploy this press. Well, that should get J.P. Aram going. Hasn't had much success inside the paint. It's a miss. Blackwater gets possession. Di Gregorio almost losing it. But he was still able to put that baby home. Blackwater again within four points. And that forces the Guangzhou Long Lions to make some changes here. Well, Coach, Bla uh, I'm sorry, sit down, go ahead. Well, Blackwater you know, running the break when they have an opportunity. Mike Tibigoria with a great finish. Now, with this pressure defense, Guangzhou, it delays their start you know, to get into their offense. That's what it does. Now with, they're left with eight seconds. Mokhtar, however, gets an open look. Gets money on the three. Mokhtar, that shot that made triple in the first half, now giving him you know, the confidence to continue on. Not that he's lacking when he's missing, but Mokhtar, you know, that's what happens when shooters finally see their shot go through the net. And right now, Mokhtar, in his, in his every opportunity to take that shot, Making that one. Oh, risky pass there by Tian. 
De Gregorio absorbs the pump, but couldn't get the shot. Black Warrior did not go down on defense immediately, but lucky break for them as the Long Lions unable to convert. They want to set up Eram here. Pinto to Palma. Would be a three, no good. Cool with the board. Now Palma, not really a shot there. And uh, Blackwater, once again, I think Juan Pinto had, had some options there. He went for Palma. Here's Tian, going to Mukhtar. Unleashes another three, both taken by Di Gregorio. Lots of transition opportunities here for Blackwater. They finally convert. Well, Mike De Gregorio, they're not stopping. You know, nobody's stopping him, actually, off that uh, transition opportunity. He gambled on that strip. Almost a steal. Wang running into trouble. Had to release it to Gu. Eight seconds on the shot clock for Guangzhou. McTar over Jose. No good. Palma with the rebound. And Blackwater. Deliberately trying to speed up this ball game. Jose just a long two for him. But bottom of the net for Blackwater. They're on a run. They're within two points. The Guangzhou Long Lions now calling a timeout. They want to halt the run of the Blackwater lead. 53 51. Four and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Third quarter run here for the Blackwater Elite. And it has been a very strong performance. Coach Juan Antonio Orenga called a timeout to try and solve the problem that the Long Lions have right now. Well, it's this press that's been causing problems for the Long Lions. I think Renz Palma has been crucial here. Those taps, the hustle plays. You know, he has uh, really initiated some of the fast break opportunities here for uh, Blackwater which are shooting 6 of 11 in this quarter, 2 of 8 for the Long Lions. Here's an outside attempt, 2 for 9 now. If you count that as an attempt for Kokai, he got 2 for 10, but Era pleading his case, saying it was a wayward attempt for Go. Nonetheless, there was contact. That's why a foul called on Era. Third foul for JP Era. Well, JP Era. Has been battling the bigs of Guangzhou almost the entire evening there. Gives up a, gives up a few inches to Go Kai and a lot more to Zheng Zhen. Oh, even before this game started, I'm sure Aram knew he was in for a tough night, a much tougher night than he had yesterday, where he hauled down 16 rebounds. Go no problem at the free throw line. Extending their advantage to four points. Now it's uh, long, the long lines turn to uh, put some pressure in the backcourt. Pinto with Tian Yu Heng bothering him. Pinto takes it to the cuff, gets away, no good. But look at the guards of Global of Blackwater crashing the glass. That, it was, however, thrown away by Di Gregorio. Well, you know, that was much better effort from Blackwater. Unfortunately for them, they commit the turnover. Tian thought about the three, leaving it for 
Ju Ming Shin. Good defense for Eram. Pinto calls for the foul there. That's going to be the fourth team foul on Blackwater. John Pinto caught reaching in that time. JP Eram just tapping into the wrong man. And it gives Guangzhou an opportunity here to extend this lead. But Roy Sumang, very solid in that first half as he returned to the ball game. I think the Blackwater elite are used to a much physical kind of basketball than what has been allowed in this tournament. But you know, you, you adjust the rules. You don't expect the rules to adjust to your style. Yeah, definitely, as Gokai with a spin move over Eram. Eram handicapped by those three fouls. Couldn't do anything with that. Here's Eram. He'll try a three pointer. Gets another one to pull in. That's his second. He's starting to feel it. And that's critical for Blackwater. Eram couldn't get anything inside. And he draws out Gokai. Sumang with the steal. Sumang goes all the way. Can you hang now? And the Long Lions turn the ball over. Song Shuai not realizing that he was already along the sidelines. Take a look at Sumang playing the passing lanes perfectly, opening up a pristine path to the hoop. That's great play by Roy Sumang, but I think that was a bad pass still. And that also was a bad pass. Shuming Shin slamming it home. Trying to wake his team up. No, Zhu Ming Shin anticipated the pass to JP Aram. Well, somehow, Sadov, would you say that the attack of Blackwater has been a tad bit predictable because they're getting to the cup. I think the guards would stop there. But before you spawn to that Zhu Ming Shin, taking a look at that again, the two handed throw down in transition. Well, they've gone to that play, the pick and pop for. Numerous occasions here in the third quarter, and uh, I think uh, Zhu Ming Shin read that perfectly and went all the way for the slam. Suma, their team down by three. Eram thought about it. Decides to kick it out to Vicky Goryo, has to put it up. Got it over in time, but did not hit the rim. Ball now with the Long Lions, a minute and 45 remaining in the third. Zhu orchestrating the offense for the Long Lions. Gokai, ball is loose. Quick hands being shown by Blackwater. Er, that's uh, Palma, though. Able to get something there. No, Palma, for all the work that he's done in this period, I think he didn't make the right decision there. De Gregorio was ahead. Easy pass. Two points, and now... They commit the turnover, and they might trail some more as we head into the fourth quarter here. A minute and 27 remaining. JP Era will be pulled out of this ball game. He has three fouls. That's what Coach Bong Ramos is telling him. Back in goes Chris Javier. Two is left open. Tian. Has it again? Ball tapped by Suma, but recovered by Ju. Three-second violation on Chen Chen. Well, it took a while for the Long Lions to uh, get that dump that ball to Zheng Zhen. Chris Javier holding his ground right there. And there's a good number of Filipino fans in the stadium, loving the resurgence they're seeing from the Blackwater Elite. No, definitely. Roy Suma, instrumental in this run as well. Shot clock, winding down. Belo, three no good. Song Shuai with the board. Tian trying to get past Suma. Goes to the cup, short on the lane. Belo releases it. Suma to Palma, goes for the rack for the lane. What a play there, Roy Suma. No look pass to Renz Palma, rewarding his teammate for running the floor. 
And Mac Bello also playing the passing lane. What you're seeing from Blackwater, they are putting on the pressure and cracking the Guangzhou Long Lions. Well, they're now what they're doing is they're not allowing Guangzhou to take advantage of their height inside and putting pressure on the ball early. And that's why they've been getting a lot of turnovers, getting a lot of steals. Xiu Ming Xin, no. Rebound by Zamar. Chance for Blackwater to get the lead as we head into the fourth. Ten seconds remaining in the third quarter. Sumang has it. Bothered by Tian Yu Heng. Javier trying to help. There's that switch. Javier picks it up. Saves it to Zamar. Blackwater runs out of time though. But Coach Paul Ramos has to be happy with the effort of his, of his men. Well, definitely big quarter for the elite. They were down nine heading into the third period, but they cracked up their intensity on both ends of the floor, and now they're back in it and uh, with an opportunity to go 2-0. Fourth and final quarter in what has been a very close contest between the Guangzhou Long Lions and the Blackwater Elite. They're still with us. Chot Sulit and Sedov Tupas bringing the action from Macau. Sumang could not get the lead for Blackwater. It was a strong move though. A great play there by Roy Sumang. Just couldn't get it to go. Was able to break down his defender. Long Lions go to Jing. Traveling violation on the big man. Now, momentum really switching to the side of the Filipino team. Well, they outscored Guangzhou 21 to 13 in that third period. Really got them back in the game. The biggest lead for Long Lions was 11 earlier. Sumang will take the long shot, no good. Felt like he was fouled. Roy has to get back down on defense. Xu Ming Shin. He's the one who tries to resuscitate his team every time they're down or they're facing a run. Sumang was bumped. And that was just wasn't the best attack, the best shot. Or Roy Sumang. Well, Roy Sumang there, he anticipated the contact. And I think he could have taken a dribble there. And, uh... But the good thing about Sumang, he recognizes every time he makes a mistake. Yesterday, he had a couple of turnovers and asked, he himself asked to be subbed out of the game. Well, definitely a sign of maturity from uh, Roy Sumang. It's taken him a while to really find a home in the Philippine Basketball Association. I think he's a perfect fit for this Blackwater team. Kick it out, Makar left open. 
Oh, he gets it to go! But that will be a technical foul on the Long Lions because they touched the basketball after that, after it went through the net. They were given a warning earlier already for delay of game, and now that it is, they got called for another one. That's a technical foul. That's useless for Guangzhou. Oh, Samar hasn't found his range in this ball game. We're usually very reliable from the free throw line, and also you know, when uh, Blackwater runs its offense, right now just struggling. Getting the inbound. To Palma, who lost the ball. Shuming Shin to the cutting book. High. Back to back buckets. For Guangzhou, they are now up again by six points. Super 8. Most importantly, his team up by 6 points, 64 to 58, with eight and a half minutes remaining in the ball game. A great response here for the Long Lions. After uh, Blackwater came to within a single point and had a couple of chances to really take the lead, but you know, right now the elite with those uh, turnovers hurting them, trailing by six. Blackwater going to the horse plate, but Javier could not get it. May have been bothered by the long arms of Jing Jin. And you know, if you're a seven footer, all you need is the presence to intimidate an offensive player. But Javier was wide open. Well, he was wide open right there. And he has to make that shot. Lamar got away from the defender, Paul. No. Long getting the rebound. A trademark move there by Paul Samar. And it's not going in for him. Song Shuai giving it to Makar. Shadow Lejan. Eight seconds left on the shot clock of the Long Lions. Makar from outside. Doesn't hurt the Blackwater this time. But the offensive rebound. But that will sting the elite. They're trying to go to Zheng Zhen. It was a much smaller Palma on him. Xu Ming Shin forced shot from outside is a miss. That's, that's a great defensive sequence right there for Blackwater. Renz Palma, we didn't see a, a lot of him and that play, but you know the way he denied Zheng Zhen from preventing uh, uh, getting the basketball in the post was critical to that um, watch defensive play for the Long Lions. It looks like Palma also got hurt there. Received an elbow to his thigh. Jose missing. That's a couple of bad misses now for Blackwater, costing them. Mactar going to the left side to Song Shuai. Shadow Legend to the cup, rejected by Eram. Go with offensive board and the putback. Play there by uh, Gokai, just following, just tracking, tracking down the teammate, helping out. And as soon as Aram committed, 
not the offensive rebound. Under seven minutes to play here. Jose versus Cole. Raymar going glass, no. Looking for the foul, but none whistled. Now Guangzhou just toughening up defensively. And it's been tough, it's been tight right in the middle. Here's Mokhtar, out to Chu Ming Shen. That is gonna hurt Chu. Money on the three. Chu Ming Shen, big shot once again, Mokhtar and Chu Ming Shen. They've been hitting their shots right now, so Blackwater uh, has to change its scheme here. Well, Alexi was able to draw a foul there. Tar going to the referee. And Shara Lijan and Malik C. We changing smiles. We see the sportsmanship between these two teams, even though it has been a physical and very challenging ball game for both teams. Let's we'll see what happened there with Blackwater. They missed a couple of gimmies, and now they're all of a sudden they're trailing by 11. Zamar gets away. However, he misses. Blackwater still scoreless in the fourth quarter. Oh, that shot for Chu Ming Shin is already the 12th point of the Guangzhou Long Lions. That's his fourth personal foul. Fourth foul now for JP Hera. But Mokhtar running the floor and he gives it to their best player in transition, Zhu Ming Shin. Three Blackwater defenders there could not be stopped. Zhu at the line looking to complete a three point play for the second consecutive game in this tournament. He gets to 20 points. The 25 year old putting on a brilliant display here inside the Macau East Asian Games, though. Malik C still could not get anything to go for the elite. Scoreless in more than four minutes already. Zero for nine from the field in the fourth quarter. Wow. And it's not just down to a Blackwater missing shots. I think Guangzhou has made a conscious effort really to challenge everything here. Especially on, on, on those pick and rolls. They, they, sh they, they show hard these uh, long lines, big men. Blackwater trying to mount a comeback. They're down 14. Jumping Shin putting up a brilliant performance again. Eight points in the fourth quarter alone. And like we saw yesterday, when the Rising Zephyr were catching up with the Guangzhou Long Lines, it was Zhu Ming Shin who resuscitated his team. Same can be said with what he did here. Yeah, def well, definitely. You know, when he gets that ball on the open floor, it's very difficult to stop. Pinto getting fouled. You know, during the last time out of the Blackwater Elite, it was him that received instructions specifically from Coach Bong Ramos. Looks like they're putting their trust in the young guard of the Blackwater Elite. So almost five minutes here of us. The Elite have been scoreless for the last five minutes and again, more trouble. That's the fifth foul 
Oh, Era, and so he falls out of this game. There's a lot of frustration for Eram. He immediately hits back to the locker room of the Blackwater Elite. No, JP Eram, no, not even acknowledging his teammates right there. Yeah, just a uh, uh, disappointment on his part. And he cannot finish the game. And his team trailing by 14. Song to Ju. He gets some space. Not getting the three pointer though. The Gregorio releasing to Tinto. Tinto is able to draw a foul on Song. Well, a chance here for Blackwater to get some points on the board. Tinto using the fake there. Oh, he knew that the defender was taller and longer than him. So he tried to get creative with how he wanted to score. Effectively getting the free throw line and their free throws for him. Well, this was a close game earlier. And the Long Lions turning it up defensively and hitting some huge outside shots. Have uh, slowly but surely turned this into a rout. The reminder of Coach Bong Ramos in the last huddle of Blackwater was that there's still time on the clock. Close to five minutes. We've seen crazier finish finishes in basketball. 13-point lead is certainly something that can be overcome. And the time left, Blackwater will need to improve their showing here. Song going to go. Shooting over Jose, getting the bottom of the net. A nice ball movement there by the Long Lions that time. They find the open man in Gokai. Jose just late in closing out. Pito could not get the shot. Zhu Ming Shin matched up against Malik C right now. The foul called on the Blackwater lead. Malik C reaching in from behind. He's going to pick up his fourth personal foul. Now, this was the matchup that we were looking forward to before the game, Zhu Ming Shin and uh, Alain Malik Si. So far, it's uh, the guard from Guangzhou who's been winning the battle. Mokhtar. All with Heng right now. Mokhtar will try another three-pointer. We'll get another one. And for those who watched uh, the game between the Long Lions and the Rising Zephyr yesterday, you probably wondered why Sheryl John Mukhtar kept taking three-pointers. He can make them. It just happened to be an off night yesterday. Yeah, definitely. Now we're seeing the real Sheryl John Mukhtar. 14 points and has seven assists. Once those shots started falling in for Mukhtar, it opened up so many options. You know, the defense started closing out on him. And that's how he spotted several times Zhang Zhen. Gokai also very active off the ball. That's another assist for the Long Lions this time, courtesy of Zhu Ming Shin. Well, the Long Lions back to what they do best, sharing the basketball, getting inside the paint, and scoring easy baskets. 20-point lead for Guangzhou. here at the Macau East Asian Games Dome. Let's take a look at the leading scorers of this ball game. Raymar Hussein with 11 for Blackwater. And 
and uh, 21 for Juming Shin. The biggest story of the night has been um, Mukhtar's timely explosion that has uh, really carried Guangzhou to this uh, big lead. Under three minutes to play here. And Guangzhou rolled in the fourth quarter. But at the same time, it's the struggles of the Black Order lead. They've only scored a single point here oh. in the closing period. Yeah, definitely. And it's, it's been the defense here of uh, the Long Lions. Things developing there. Between Heng Yi Heng, Yang Heng Yi Feng rather, and the lane Malik Si. Really no need for that at this moment. I think the outcome has already been settled. And, and you feel like before the game, you know these two teams, they they get physical. And it's up really to the referees to control here. The referees do, have done a good job of doing that. McTarr getting control of the basketball. Too strong, however, on the cleanup is Gokai. 14 points and 13 rebounds for him. Oh, the ever-reliable Gokai running the floor. And this is just an unbelievable fourth quarter for Guangzhou. You know, outscoring Blackwater 21 to 1. That is the first field goal in the fourth quarter for the Blackwater elite. You know, that really. When Blackwater was missing those point blank shots, that really, I think, that took a lot from them. 1 for 13 here in the fourth quarter from the field. Gregorio. Getting rejected by Gokai. Well, Gokai, just a force underneath. And uh, Blackwater really have no answers to this uh, onslaught by the Long Lions in this fourth period. Well, we commended the Elite for a great third quarter showing, but that completely changed. In fact, it flipped 180 degrees here in the fourth period. Malikse is scoring there. Too little, too late here for the elite. Long Lion will grab their second win of the tournament. And they have been uh, a sight to watch here, Sadelpe. They have performed very well here in the tournament. Well, I think they are a bit of the more most impressive team here in the tournament. They received a strong challenge yesterday. Uh, against the rising Zephyr Fukuoka. And for most of this ball game, actually for the first three quarters, this game was also tied. It went back and forth, although the entirety of it, Guangzhou had control, but Blackwater would continuously knock on their door. Yeah, definitely. And you know, Mukhtar coming alive with those triples, really important. He was the missing link yesterday, although they won. And the uh, consistency from uh, Juming Shen in uh, putting pressure on the defense and getting shots in. Heng Yi Feng adds to the lead of the Guangzhou Long Lions, a minute and a half remaining. Let's talk about the performances we've seen here. For the Guangzhou Long Line, they have a bunch of guys scoring in double figures, five of them led by the 21 points of Zhou Ming Shin. Everything just not going in for Blackwater. Long Lions pick up their second win of the tournament and uh, formalize their entry, I believe, into the semifinals. So Juming Shin with 21 points. And then you have a lot of guys helping him out. Gokai with 14. The big double-double for Gokai. What does the, the, the play... You did mention earlier how impressed you are with Zhu Ming Shin, who takes charge for the Long Lions. But what's the role that Gokai fulfills? Well, Gokai takes a lot of boxes in terms of a, being a, a, a reliable and solid big man. He's very mobile. He runs the floor very well. And he's very strong underneath. Provides you a solid interior defender, and at the same time, a great option when you need baskets. Well, there's a lot of physicality still here in this ball game. Jose, I believe, 
bumping into Yao Tianti. Or Gokai. Well, hopefully nothing uh, more happens here. Good move from Coach Orenga. Pulling out Gokai as we play out the last 48 seconds of this ballgame. Who was the most impressive performer for you on the side of Blackwater? I think I saw a lot of uh, promise from Roy Sumang and Renz Palma, although you know, hasn't been scoring a lot. I think he uh, really set the tone for them defensively in that third period. And uh, Blackwater, they have a big game against uh, Popoca Rising Zephyr tomorrow. That is going to be crucial because still, we could still see a tie here for the second semifinal berth, if ever, you know. Yes. Absolutely correct. So, so Samsung uh, Thunders, they need a win against the Long Lions to, uh, you know, get that... Uh, have, to have a chance at the semi-final berth. Actually, we could also say a two, you know, a three teams ending up with two one records. Yeah, that's the possibility as well. But if you if you get two wins at the very least, you get yourself in a position to enter the playoffs. Obviously. Yeah, well, definitely. And uh, you know, not only that, if you're Guangzhou, you gotta like this advantage that you have a 19 point lead, and and surely it will play a part if ever. It could be a triple tie for the 2-1 uh, record. Without a doubt, well, tomorrow we'll still have four games. The last day of the elimination round, Long Lions will, like you said, will go up against the Samsung Thunders. Blackwater Elite will check out the Rising Zephyr Fukuoka. And you know, the Rising Zephyr Fukuoka will be, not be an easy assignment for Blackwater. We've seen them uh, push Guangzhou to the limit yesterday and uh, earlier today they played very well against uh, the Seoul Samsung Thunders although they fell short the and funny thing is we look at the score here at Delph it's an 18 point lead for the Guangzhou long lines but it's hard to say that it was an easy win for them well definitely and uh, I think uh, they just pulled away late and just because uh, you know that water missing shots, I think that they should be making, and that has contributed to uh, this blowout for Guangzhou. And this is going to be a win now for the Guangzhou Long Lions. They go up two and zero here in the Summer Super Eight. The final score here. Guangzhou 88, Blackwater 69. A huge win for the Long Lions. Dominant from start to finish. They were pushed to the limit in the third period where uh, Blackwater cut the lead to just a single point and eventually started pulling away in that uh, final period. Blackwater evens their record at 1-1. They played the Fukuoka Rising Zephyr on their final uh, assignment here in the elimination round. As for the Long Lions, they pick up their second win and they could sweep the elimination round with a win against the Samsung uh, Thunders tomorrow. That's happening tomorrow. Some great basketball here the past couple of days. Still have one game remaining here. Xinjiang, Flying Tigers up against the Formosa Dreamers. Xinjiang, of course, from China. And uh, the Formosa Dreamers from Chinese Taipei. Let's take a look at some statistics here. And field goal shooting just hurting Blackwater Elite. Long lines committing more turnovers. Unable to knock down shots in the end. Tough day at the office for the Filipino team. As for the Long Lions, it was a fantastic performance. They were met.